I'd say by now, the point has been pretty well made that tracking on Rancho del Arroyo can be a little bit difficult due to the tracks not having the particle effect, and on Friday's livestream, we struggled on two different occasions to track down Maxwood Estimate Antelope Jackrabbits here in single player. That is the one remaining diamond that we don't have off of this map, so we're gonna go back today and try to find both of those rabbits, and the first one, I believe, should rest in this zone here, so we're gonna head over that way. We're gonna go nice and slowly so that hopefully we don't spook him out of the zone and can find it easily. If not, this could turn into a lot of running around and it could really be quite difficult, but we'll see if we can get lucky knowing the zone location. I wish I could be certain. I mean, the fact that we discovered a new rest zone at the same time, this should be a different group of rabbits. And of course, we don't know, we just know it's two maxwood estimate tracks. They might both be just gold level twos, so any male rabbit we get the chance to take as we go along, we're definitely going to just get four respawns, and really anything else we can run into. I know the area where the second one was is really good for both turkeys and um, pheasants, so even if we don't have any diamond rabbits today, we could be working towards respawns for a bunch of different things. Well, there is one of our two, and unfortunately it was the one that I was more hopeful about. I'd like to get it with a shotgun just because I grabbed the other 16 gauge. So we had the... I forget what it's called, the Ranchero I think, and now we have... I don't remember the name of this one either, the Vaquero? Just for the sake of trying to switch it up a little bit. But this was the Grayfur type one, and I really do like them. They're kind of... wait. I think there's two? It's possible that... We're just not in the right zone then. I had a 4.07 to 4.70 uh, gray track somewhere. I had that track on the way down in here, and at the time I just didn't think it was relevant because I figured he'd be in the zone, but I'm starting to question whether or not he actually was ever in that zone at all. We might have just been tracking him near the zone during the stream and I just assumed he rested in there, but the more gray uh, antelope jackrabbits and the more males we take out, the better chance any of those tracks we find are going to be from the one we're after, so we'll keep on looking around for a little bit. Worst case scenario, we'll come back at the end of the video and try looking again. I mean, I hear rabbits running around, but as for finding the correct one, it's going to be really just checking all these individual tracks. I don't love our odds of actually finding this, but we are at least on the right trail. Max White Estimate and Gray Fur Type, but we don't even have like a direction of travel right now, so... I think it's going to kind of come down to running around and trying to find another blue track, but we'll give it a solid shot here since we at least have the trail at the moment. Well, that was way easier. As soon as we found the feed zone, I decided to reset the time to that and go and check it out. And I will say, 6 to 7 is a good sign. It may be level 2, but 6.3 is diamond, so he doesn't have to be much into that estimate to actually make it. I will want him to hopefully stop just because of how difficult this track has been. Don't need to have any kind of weird circumstances to miss him. Although he seems pretty determined to just hop around, so... I guess we'll go ahead and take that shot. Now, even if this guy doesn't make it, there's actually another one uh, with a max weight estimate that I found back there a ways, and unfortunately I wasn't able to actually get eyes on that one, but we'll probably give it a look while we're hunting in their feed time. But, fingers crossed for this one with that estimate, 6.1, so he's 0.2 shy still. But I do really like that gray fur type. If we could get lucky enough to get a diamond one, I'd really like it to be this. So, just another one for now for respawns. But it's just up here to the north of us. We'll probably reset back because we likely spooked them. Actually, I guess I'm still on the trail. You can see there, it's a dark brown, which they look good too. So maybe this actually is a good thing. I don't think it's unreasonable to say that hunting rabbits in Call of the Wild is fairly easy, but it turns out Hunting a specific rabbit, especially when you don't know where it is, is actually fairly difficult, and we're back to daylight now. I wanted to come over here to where we had the second max weight track on the stream, and I don't have a zone or anything for that one, so we're kind of going to just explore around and see what we can find, but unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be in with these ones. That, however, is a really big level 2 pheasant, kind of much like the rabbit earlier, I'd say a pretty decent chance at being a below max level diamond. So we'll take in our shotgun here. There are three roosters in this flock, so we're going to have to really be careful to make sure we spot the right one. But we might as well go ahead and take that guy, at the very least for respawns, but maybe as something that's going to make diamond. 
if he'll ever actually flush, which tends to be sometimes rather difficult. I think he's a gray fur type too, which is kind of cool, but he is really determined to not flush. I think he's going to. Then, if we can get the shotgun to fire, we hit him. So that's going to bring him down. We'll go and see what he is. Bit of an odd chase to actually get to him. And then we'll start running around and looking for other rabbit zones, because like I said, I don't really know other than I think one track that he was in this general area, so it could be even pretty far from where we are. I think we need 20.3 to reach diamond, and we're pretty close there. 19.8, it is our biggest gray, so I think we are still going to tax it. I'm assuming that eventually we'll be able to find another diamond pheasant, and if it ends up being a common, I'd like to do a multi-mount with the gray one, because we have a pretty big molting in the multi-mount with our other diamonds, so at least we can kind of have it for that. I gotta think that's the one. He's going nervous out there. It's around 150. And we actually got him. Alright. I really did not want to have to figure out where his zone was or anything, because I just simply do not know the answer. And by the way, to add yet another layer to what has been a ridiculous hunt, there's a 24 to 27 coyote track somewhere back here, and we did just kill a diamond to go with our brown diamond bobcat, but I guess we could go and see if we can maybe make a second multi mount like that. I'm not sure I even want two of the same in the lodge, but there's maybe some room to do that because we're doing the two turkey types multi mount on the smaller platform, so we'll at least look into that. In the meantime, we have another 6.1. We're getting so close here. I don't think this is it though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a modeled fur type. That one I'm less certain about, so we'll maybe run around a little bit and try to confirm, but I would say we'll be pretty happy with that one and go back to the feed zone that we had earlier after we tracked the coyote. I truly have no idea, and that looks like a common again, so I don't think that was the one we saw on stream either, but we're suddenly able to find quite a number of max weight estimate antelope jackrabbit. Unfortunately, none have been level 3s, but at least most of them do give some hope with the estimates that they could reach that 6.3 mark. That is only a 5.3, so barely even into that range, but again, we're getting a bunch of good sized males for respawns. It's so hard to know for sure, especially when I don't know how many times this video we've got one that seemed to be in the right area and everything and not been the correct rabbit, but I think that's the one that we had a track from. We got so close to hitting that that did alert him, sort of. There we go. It did kind of look dark brown. Now that's the second time I think that we've had a 4kg antelope jackrabbit that did not have an estimate that went up to 6, so that one definitely is not going to be a diamond level 2. But again, good for respawns and really good for peace of mind knowing there's not a diamond just hopping around out here in an area that I've struggled to get to him. So since we've kind of gone back and reset the time a bunch between the coyote and this particular rabbit, maybe now that we've done a little game reset just to uh, get things back in place and it seemed to work for the rabbit, maybe we can go and find that coyote. The good news is that is a dark brown, so at least for once we actually got the right rabbit. It is a 5.9, so not much smaller than the others we've seen today. And we've gone through, I think, all three of the common fur types. Or I guess four. Common, model, dark brown, and gray. We've had one of each in the max weight range. Unfortunately, none made diamond, but still pretty cool. So, like I said, we might as well go and look for that coyote. We have shot a ton of stuff today, but it's going to bother me if we don't at least know what level it is, even if we don't kill it. Man, at this point, I have no idea... What's going on? I saw that rabbit there. I don't know if that's a modeled fur type or not, but it might be the one that we came in here originally for. I think that is the model. So there was that. There's a bunch of coyotes over here, but I haven't seen any in that 24 to 27 range. I just can't imagine where that would have gotten to, but considering the fact that it doesn't seem to be around here, it might have just been not with the ones that are over here. There's so many rabbits and stuff, but none that are in that max range. So I think we'll go and grab the one that we just shot there. Unfortunately, we might have to let that coyote go and hope to encounter it another time because we've reset the time. And unfortunately, without a zone, that's always a risk. And I saw no sign of his tracks. So 
We're gonna have to, like I said, hope to see him some other time. But with one final chance to have a Jackrabbit reach diamond with that 5 to 6 estimate, we'll see what we have for our last one. And once again, for one, not the correct rabbit, that is the gray fur type again, but also a 5.9. So somewhere out here is a modeled fur type 4kg antelope jackrabbit, but I certainly do not know where it is. I've tried how many spots now, and unfortunately, despite the fact that we continue to see big rabbits, none have been that one that we had to track from on the stream. But anyway, I think at this point, We've shot enough rabbits that I wouldn't be surprised if one of those ends up respawning as a diamond anyways, so I think that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.